The shadow tool creates realistic soft shadows behind shapes. It's a very effective way of making objects appear lifted from the page. To do this, first you have to select the shape or shapes. In this case, I'm actually going to select the three shapes here. Then you simply select the shadow tool and one of the different shadow types. There are three types, a wall shadow, a floor shadow and a glow effect. I'm going to select the floor shadow and immediately you can see a cast shadow appears behind these three objects. I can now simply drag the shadow around to, in effect, move the light source. And with this slider here, I can adjust the blurriness. So I can make it more blurred or less blurred with a sharper edge. You'll notice on this type of shadow that the further away from the shape, the more blurred it becomes for added realism. I'm now going to select another type of shadow, a wall shadow. And immediately you can see the shadows change. But I can drag these around as before, and I can equally adjust the blur factor and the opaqueness. In fact, this slider here adjusts the transparency, so I can make it more opaque, which makes it darker, or more transparent, which makes it paler. I can adjust the color of a shadow simply by dragging and dropping a color. I'll drag an orange color onto the shadow, and you can see it change immediately. This is perhaps most useful for the third type of shadow effect, which is the glow. This produces a glow effect around the shape, and I can adjust this by just dragging on the edge to adjust the size of it. And as before, I can adjust the blurriness and the darkness. All shadow effects in Zara X are live effects. That means I can continue to edit the shape and the shadows will track. So for example, if I just put a point on the outside of this particular shape, you can see the shadow immediately alters to match.